I'm Judy Crane, and this is a free art lesson on how to design a painting to use the entire canvas. If uh, you'd like to know about how I've set up my uh, palette and the things that I'm using, you can check out the starter uh, video at jerrysartorama.com. So let's get started. The main thing I want to talk about here is that every part of this painting is a shape, and every part of it is important. And so instead of doing a little still life or something in the middle of the page and having all of this extra uh, space around it, I'm going to design this painting so that every part of it can be interesting. I'm going to, let's say we have an apple here. And let's go ahead and cut that apple off so that it's not just um, an apple sitting with space all around it. So here we have an apple. I'm going to put a lemon in front of it. I have a full-length DVD on painting translucent um, fruits with reflective light and shadows. Uh, if you want to learn more about how to paint this fruit, check that out. Right now, I just want to talk to you about how to make sure that every part of this canvas is a shape and is interesting. So this is a lime, and I'm not worrying a lot at this point about the colors. I'm going to overlap that lime a little bit more with my apple, apple shape. OK? This is not very interesting at this point. but. The shadows are part of the shapes. So I'm just going to put in some shadow shapes to show you what I mean. Here we have a shadow that would be coming from this line if the light's coming from over here. So here we have a shadow. And it could be coming around like this. This lemon or orange slice also has a shadow. And the apple has a shadow. So this entire section here could be primarily in shadow. Put a stem on our apple and some shadows on the fruit so it makes sense as to where those shadows are. Now, the thing I want you to look at here is that this is a painting where every bit of the canvas has been used. I've left a large space up here, perhaps larger than I would like. But it at least is not just a straight line across here with fruit in the bottom. I've tried to think of what this shape would be like, how that shape differs from this corner shape and this corner shape. So whether you're working with flowers, you're working with even a landscape, you want to think of it in terms of every bit of the canvas being a shape in the painting and it's important. So if this is sky and these are trees and this is foreground and a path, you still want to make sure that all the shapes have interest. So when you get ready to paint, design your whole canvas and think about every shape being a shape as you do it. And I hope that I'll see you on one of my other free art lessons or my DVDs.